Hey, what's up, coach? Welcome back to the show. In today's episode, I'm going to be answering a question. This is from one of the coaches inside of my consulting program. And uh, he messaged me earlier. He said, Hey, I'm starting the process of organizing my email list on Kajabi. If you don't know what Kajabi is, you can go get a free trial of that on my website. That's the email marketing service, website, landing page service that I use. Um, And a lot of coaches that we help end up using that because it is a very simple platform to use to send out and structure all of your email marketing. Um, And he said, I'm getting all of that set up. Um, I'm starting to write some of the emails. So this guy is is clearly taking action, which is awesome uh, because I know that's going to help his business grow. And his question was, how often should I email my list throughout the month? And um, my answer to this is very simple uh, because a lot of coaches, what they do is when they think about having an email newsletter, they're like, all right, well, you know, I'm going to do this a lot throughout the month and they don't set a clear target. So anytime you don't have a clear target, like, there's nothing to aim at. So you don't know what you're going to do. You're just going to randomly do things. And I uh, created a video and I shot it back to this coach uh, inside of our, our members area. And I told him, I said, look, at the beginning, I want you to only focus on doing one email per week and pick a set day, set time that that email is going out. And what I want you to do is I want you to spend one day out of the month and have all of your content done So you write all of the emails, they're finished. You load them up in Kajabi, you schedule them to go out. So they go out without you having to think about it. And just do that once per month. Have one day where you do the work, you schedule it to go out, do that once per month over the next three months, all right? So for 12 weeks, he's gonna have one email that goes out per week. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at the stats and we're gonna see, all right, what which emails worked really good? Uh, which emails didn't work at all. Um, We're gonna look at what he was actually saying in his emails, and we're gonna look at the data. How many people clicked through? How many people responded to his emails? And look at the data. And then from there, after 12 weeks, we're gonna push it to twice a week. And then we're probably gonna do that for a couple months. And then again, go back and look at the data. And then we're probably gonna ramp it up to three times a week. And coaches who are intentional with how they uh, spend their time marketing are always going to draw in really like awesome clients that uh, want to read your newsletter. They want to share your newsletter. They are looking forward to your newsletter. And not everyone's going to want to read your newsletter all the time. But if you are consistent with that, that is going to be your best asset in your business. It's way more important than your social media following um, because you actually own the information. And you know, Instagram could wipe out your account tomorrow. Facebook could delete your account tomorrow. Uh, if they can do it to Trump, trust me, they can do it to you too, <laughs> All right? So this is why having the email list is important, but knowing how to use it at the beginning, I think is very key. And just set a very crystal clear goal for yourself of doing it once per week. Do that for three months. Like Do that before you try to, to write more newsletters. Um, and I can think of right now the top five coaches that I'm helping. All right? Five coaches here in the U.S. And actually, one is in, uh, in Australia. So there's four in the U.S. One is in Australia. I'm helping him privately with his business. They write, there's, there's between three and five newsletters that go out for their businesses each every week. And why? Well, it's because they recognize this is how I can get more offers in front of my audience. They're going to sit down, they're going to read this newsletter, and I'm going to pepper them every single week with more newsletters. And it's not just selling, right? It's not just selling in the newsletter. It's uh, your storytelling. You're, talk- you're talking about the problems that you solve. You're, you're really going deep into the mind of your client. And, uh, I'm telling you, having a good newsletter will absolutely transform your business. That's it for today's podcast. See you later.